weather alert due to the growing threat from avalanches. Overnight, a snowslide covered a section of I-70 over Vail Pass. A tow truck ended up stuck in this mess. Luckily, they were okay. Highway has been closed there all day as crews work to remove that deep snow. Our Matt Crochel live tonight. Matt, with all these avalanches and the threat of more, traveling the high country, maybe not the best idea. It's not, and we were on our way to that breaking news with the uh, burial on Highway 91 when we made it here to Frisco, exit 201, the main street, and it's closed off, and you can see the line of, of big rigs here down I-70 that have been stopped in their tracks. That's because of more natural avalanches in 10 Mile Canyon between here and Copper Mountain. First the explosions, then the wall of snow. Our cameras captured the moment this controlled slide came down. We have had epic amount of snowfall in the mountainous regions of Colorado. Drone 4 shows what goes into removing the debris field once the slide is done. This is an unusual season. It's quite historic. This is why they do avalanche mitigation. But our number one priority is safety. We want people to get to their destinations safely. CDOT crews working around the clock, doing battle with Mother Nature. At times, she is winning. We have done a lot of work to mitigate those avalanches, so we have control over them instead of Mother Nature. Thus, the road closures, and we, when we have had a lot of them, and we certainly appreciate the patience. From Vail to Empire, the mountain corridor closed on and off. Vail Pass saw a natural slide at the Narrows, partially burying this tow truck parked below. Then CDOT triggered another wall of snow, covering a 100-yard section in 15-foot deep piles. So the whole idea is to take control of these slides, shut the roads down, bring them down. Should they come across the travel lanes, at least there are not any cars there. As the slides keep coming, the battle to keep drivers safe continues around the clock. And if the last 30 minutes has shown us anything, it's that even with all that mitigation work CDOT's been doing all day, it's not enough. That's because there's just so much snow and there's avalanches that are, are running, that are uh, slide paths that haven't run since the 1980s, the 1950s even. This is historic stuff up here in the high country. It's scary stuff for a lot of people, and it is frustrating for many more. We're live in Frisco. Matt Croshill covering Colorado first. Yeah, be safe up there, buddy. Now, this map.